All right, we are live here at the Omni Hotel CRS 2023 day two. This has already been so much fun. We have interviews back to back to back here on the backstage pass. I'm Percy Krause, CJ Garden, Brandon Morell around here, and we are sitting here with Brooke Morbear. Morber. Morber, you got it. Yeah. Oh, wait, okay. I was like, oh, More I've been less. having struggling yeah. with my my enunciation today, and I only feel like it's, it's just the jet lag. So our lips get numb. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's what it is. It is. It is cool. Well, it's right? hard when you've been talking all day. After a while, you yeah. kind of get a little lazy. That's true. <laughs> with so much music out since 2019, we're also celebrating a duet coming out uh, soon with Ian Flanagan. We just had him on the show. Uh, tell us about that first, because we're here celebrating music. Awesome. So uh, I wrote a song back in 2020 called Holy Ground, and it was a song about not letting anything that's going on ground in the world affect the sacred relationship we have with someone. So wherever you stand together, that is Holy Ground. So uh, I was looking for the perfect voice to sing with me, and we found Ian, and uh, his arrangement of the song is just beautiful, and uh, just I'm so excited for you to hear it. It's coming out on March, March 31st. March 31st. I love it. So a uh, little bit of backstory for everyone that's tuning in. We started off in well, native New Yorker native right here. Started off in the Broadway scene. The, the other first, Broadway scene. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what was what, what was your first entry? Like what was your first play that you were in? So I was always singing since before I knew how to talk, God bless my parents. Uh, and they came home one evening after seeing a Broadway musical called uh, Lindsay uh-huh. Rock. And they put the record on and I heard this little girl singing on it. And I said, oh my gosh, I want to do that. And uh, they didn't want me to get involved because as my mom used to be an actor. Oh, so she's know. like, no, no. But I begged and begged, and I got an audition for it. And you know, my parents were warning me, you know, this might not happen. You know, but we'll give it a try. And I booked it. It should always be that easy. Uh, and my first professional gig performing, I was the wow. little kids at Lynx Rock. Yeah. yeah, and then now, they were just like, yeah. How's that feel coming to you? Sorry, you know, you get a little spoiled at first because your first experience is on a Broadway stage with this giant audience, giant and people stage. asking for your autograph when you walk outside. And you're like eight years old. It's just crazy. I know. So, and it probably doesn't hit you either. I mean, eight how an adult. I know it's not normal. It's like you're not well, yeah. like nervous about things. The stakes cool. aren't high. This is just fun. This yeah. is play, you know. So it's it's such a different feeling as you grow up and you try to get back to that, you know. That's a blessing. Man. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah, so cool. I feel like I'm ten. Anyways. <laughs> hey, I, I ten. Everyone should say ten forever. Yes. 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 Okay, let's talk a little bit about you. The release that came out. Yes, yeah. Little Bit of You is my brand new uh, single that just came out to radio. Okay, perfect. And um, it's a song about basically celebrating the spark that you have in a relationship with someone who brings out the wild side in you and getting your butt off the couch on a Friday night and actually going out and you know, doing things that you used to do before you were adulting, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's hard sometimes. So it is. Just, like, like, just want to sit there and watch Friends and just, yeah. you know. <laughs> Binge watch something. That yeah. just came out. We've been, we've been carnival rowing, and it's weird. That my brother's like, you gotta watch the show. I'm still trying to get into it. Too much, but once you watch something, it sucks because when you had the entire season, you gotta watch it. You can't stop. You no, know, you know, you're just sitting you, you there for hours, to. and your life is just ticking away. That's how I game of it. Yes, I Walking uh, Dead that. Oh, I haven't oh done Walking Dead. I wrote a song called Walking Dead one time. Oh, I yeah. like the title. It's a, it's about, it's about a heartbreak. Like he. He, he, his woman leaves him, so he's going to walk in there. I want to hear that. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> in 2021, you put out two songs as a Reviver Records artist. Uh, town Made Us and Down to Nothing. Let's start off with The Town Made Us. So, This Town Made Us is a song uh, that I wrote for my hometown. New York City. And also a little bit for Nashville because I do consider it my hometown as well. So if you listen to the lyrics in it, you'll hear a little bit of Nashville and there, a little bit of New York in there. Uh, it again is a song that I wrote in 2020. And um, I was, what else do you do in 2020? Rock music. And uh, I was inspired by an article that was in the New York Post that said, New York City is dead. And I was literally so angry inside because we lived through 9 11. You know, you knock us down, we build it back bigger, better, stronger. 
so we don't I'm, die. We don't die. And it was almost like celebrating the fact, like, yay, New York is dead. You know, everybody's leaving in droves. And, you know, it just, I, so I wanted to write a response to it, not in a negative way. Um, and then it made me think back also to Nashville, which had also gone through the tornado a week before COVID hit New York City. So it was like, not oh, so much going through so much. And I try to write about resilience and strength in a lot of my music. And I'm actually trying to just kind of come out uh, because music is a age of me. So this song made me think of the two towns that represent everything that I believe in. It's like bounce and bat. So uh, it meant a lot to me the first song that I wrote. That's awesome. I think, I don't know if they still are, but my buddy's pressing them now. Oh. Yeah, I, I met him there back in What's his name? He's pressing me. Oh, Low Cash. Oh, Low Cash. Yeah, low cash. yes. I think they used to be. Yeah, they used I don't to. think they are anymore. Yeah, yeah, I don't think so either. But yeah. like, when, I met, when I met them, like I said, we all have our stars. Your, your Broadway is a different version. A different Broadway, Broadway. yeah. yeah my, my Broadway people are a lot more. <laughs> but, yeah, it, but, uh, but yeah, I was really happy because they were actually, I met him there with the Wild Goose, and he was actually teaching line dancing and DJing. Oh and my goodness, that's yeah. so staple national It's place. funny how the, the you know, entertainment always leads in, and you're talking about how people in New York are leaving. I feel like people are leaving California New York. It's coming to Nashville these days. I'm everybody. I, I spend fifty percent of my year out here, and I divide my time between Nashville and Nashville. So I just find it. might it might happen, but you know it's it's hard. You know you got to work back there. Talking about all this music, makes me just excited to hear you live. When you when I have a gig tomorrow us. night. Okay, where? At uh, the Electric Chain. I'm doing the acoustic place. set. I will be playing this town made us. Winnie Miller with Winnie Miller. Yes, okay, okay. we were just talking to you. Cool, right? I haven't yeah. been there yet, so I gotta, I gotta It's a really cool venue. venue. It's a very yes. cool venue. Yeah. Also, let's talk about Down to Nothing then. So, Down to Nothing was my second release with Survivor, and um, it's a song about finding someone who loves you for all your flaws and makes you feel comfortable in your own skin. And uh, I found someone who actually, like, puts up with me daily and shocks me daily with his tolerance and I How wrote this song for him. Five. Yay! It. <laughs> Still going strong. I, I got I got lucky on that too. My wife puts up with me. I'm a coward, so like that's mm. that's tough just to That's call. tough, yeah. I mean, like, it's hard to wrangle this one. Here. This cowboy over here. Yeah, well my husband <laughs> thinks he's a cowboy. <laughs> no, he's a cowboy. You tell him to come on From down here. You tell him to come on down the D Bar Ranch, you know. He, he loves country you, more than anyone. You ever seen City Slickers? Yes. I'll, I'll be I'll be great. as curly. <laughs> that. That's awesome. I will let him know. Okay, we get to um do some fun rapid fire here on the backstage. Ash, we uh, love to do that. Okay. Okay. Favorite hot spot in Nashville that you like to eat? Oh, Manels. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Germantown. Manels. Oh, so but it's like yeah. Manels is like it's a store. You have to not eat all day. And then you go and you make yourself sick. I used yeah. to do, I used to do that. I get the because they like steak down menu on it. Keep going, keep going. The guys looking at me swear it's like oh, you're gonna be okay. Are you gonna be okay with all this meat? I think, I think the skinny cowboy got the meat sweats. Yeah. 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 Okay. Last uh, theater play that you went to. Sorry. Last. last year? Yes. Show that I production. Oh my goodness. So it's been it's been a little bit. It's been a little bit, but I do I, I know the next one I'm going to go okay, see. Okay, what is that? It's a revival of the show that I was in. It's called Parade. Okay. And it's a very, very uh Ben Platt is playing the lead character, but it's a very, very interesting story if you guys look it up. It's a little controversial and um, it's uh, a show that I felt very lucky. Congratulations. Okay, last rapid fire question. If uh, someone's coming to New York for the first time, what would you like three things? Tell them to make sure to go do. Walk the high line. Okay. Go to the upper part of Central Park. Um Oh my gosh, go to Rangers game. Oh, yeah. Cool. yeah, I like that. Yeah. Cool. Not not the Giants. 
No, no, we would like hockey. <laughs> That's like it, yeah. Hey, you gotta go to Preds. I want to go to a game out here where the Rangers and the Preds are playing. That would be I, I root for the Rangers, you know, a little bit more, but the Preds are my, you know, just because I'm from New York, but I root for the Preds. And the Rangers, yeah, I love, I love the Preds, and it's cool. Yeah, the Preds my, are great. They're great. Too. Yeah, my mother-in-law wanted to have something to do. She's bored, so she went and got a job at security at the Oh, so my goodness. That's, cool. That's a cool job. Yeah, yes. so she can sit and watch it. Or stressful. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> this has been so much fun and fabulous. It's so nice to have Rick Morber on here at the Backstage Pass CRS 2020. Thank you for coming on. Thank you we so much for having me. All this new music, brand new duet coming out with Ruben Flanagan right around the corner, March 31st. So make sure you check out her on all streaming platforms and, and the new duet that is coming out. I'm Kirstie Cross. CJ Yard. Brandon Morrell. And we're here with the Backstage Pass live at CRM. And Brooke. Hey. <laughs>